These incredible creatures have lived alongside humans for millennia, sometimes lurking in the shadows and other times coming too close for comfort. No matter how feared or misunderstood this epic species is, there's no denying the sheer majesty of the wolf. They've been known to roam for thousands of miles in search of their soulmates and even eat out of the palms of human hands. And this complex and mysterious creature has captured our imaginations since the beginning of time. From real-life giant dire wolves to the small, adorable wolf that's being terrorized by domestic dogs, these are the 15 wolves you won't believe actually exist. You just go straight in mm -hmm. and sit on one of those logs. Okay. And then those, the kids are just going to come all around you. Yuki the Wolf Dog If you've ever seen Game of Thrones, then you'll be familiar with the mystical ancient wolves that befriend the human characters in Westeros. These legendary loyal creatures are enormous and extremely fierce but it may surprise you to know that dire wolves actually existed on Earth, becoming extinct some 9,500 years ago. And this giant wolf dog is probably the closest we'll ever see to a real-life dire wolf. That's right, Yuki, a human-sized wolf dog who lives in the Shy Wolf Animal Sanctuary in Florida, could easily give the dire wolves a run for their money. At 5 feet 4 inches and 120 pounds, this massive canine was rescued from a kill shelter in 2008 and brought to the sanctuary to be taken care of. He's 87.5% Grey Wolf, 8.6% Siberian Husky, and 3.9% German Shepherd. Due to the fact that Yuki is a wolf hybrid, he's considered unadoptable by animal services. So you might want to think again before going out and getting your very own pet wolf. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? The Journey of OR7 this awesome animal is probably the most famous wolf in the entire world. Known as OR7 by researchers and nicknamed Journey after an interactive naming contest, this amazing wolf was followed on an epic trip across the United States thanks to his tracking collar. Leaving behind his family in Northeast Oregon, Journey headed southwest, even though that meant venturing into an area where wolves had previously been hunted to extinction. The odds may have been stacked against him, but incredibly, OR7 not only survived, but he thrived heading all the way to Northern California, traversing across regions where no wolf had dared to go for over 50 years. This brave animal managed to stay out of the way of hunters, poachers, and highways, traveling for over 1,000 miles. While the world watched him in eager anticipation, Journey became the first confirmed wild wolf in Western Oregon since 1947 and the first in California since 1924. Talk about a trailblazer, eventually Journey found a mate and settled down to start a pack of his own. But no one will forget about the extraordinary adventure that this wolf went on to find the love of his life. <laughs> wolves of Ellesmere Island The wolves of Ellesmere Island live in one of the most remote areas of our planet, deep in the Canadian Arctic. Yeah, this place is so far away from society and so freezing cold that people rarely ever step foot in this remarkable terrain. Temperatures can plummet to a whopping negative 50 degrees centigrade, and darkness can last for 24 hours a day during the winter, so these tough wolves have to hunt by the light of the moon, relying on their sense of smell and sound to track down their prey. These wolves can catch a whiff of their next two miles as far as two kilometers away. These arctic wolves see humans so rarely that they have no reason to be scared of people, and can even be petted and fed by visitors. Only a handful of scientists have ever studied them, and documentary film crews have been delighted by the friendliness of these apex predators. These smart and versatile wolves have been known to travel for over 6,000 kilometers in under a year, surviving for as long as nine months at a time on the road. These beautiful wolves certainly aren't shy, but they are experts at survival. <laughs> Slavic and Julieta Slavic the wolf traveled a whopping 2,000 kilometers across Europe in search of a soulmate, Yet sometimes you really do have to search far and wide to find the one. After all, there's no dating apps when it comes to wolf packs. Leaving his homeland of Slovenia in 2011, Slavic walked all the way to Italy, trekking across the Australian Alps and even swimming across the nearly 1,000-foot-wide Drava River. A local college's biology department was tracking his every move with a collar that transmitted his location every three hours. They were shocked to see the extreme distance he covered and shocked even more that he had crossed not one but two large highways on his travels. Once off-road, the wolf headed into the mountains, hiking through 20 feet of snow as high up as 8,500 feet. 
Finally, this exhausted wolf found himself in Italy, where he met Giulietta, a female wolf, and they settled down to start a family. At first, she gave birth to two cubs, later having three litters in three years, and researchers estimate that they may now be parents to over 18 furry bundles of joy. It was all worth it in the end. <laughs> The Sea Wolves of Great Bear Rainforest This astonishing 21 million acre rainforest in British Columbia, Canada may be called the Great Bear Rainforest, but it's also home to many wolves, and not just your average wolf. No, these are sea wolves. The rarely spotted predators are known for their love of clams, crabs, and fish, and they can actually swim for miles between the many islands of the rainforest in order to search the shorelines for food. They've been seen hunting seals and sea lions, but most sea wolves stick to much smaller catches and can go an entire lifetime without ever eating a mammal. These mystical wolves are so shy that you may never lay eyes upon a sea wolf in the rainforest. However, you might just be lucky enough to hear their calls echoing through the woods at night. For the First Nations people of the sea, these enchanting canine creatures who swim like otters and hunt like bears are considered to be an admirable animal, treated with plenty of respect. These wolves sure are one of a kind. Have you ever heard of the sea wolf? Let us know in the comment section below. <laughs> the Indian Wolf the Indian Grey Wolf and the Himalayan Wolf are two unique wolves found across India. These unusual looking wolves have short, thin fur that helps them to stay cool in the extreme heat, and they're also much smaller than other wolves, growing up to three feet long. With grayish, reddish hair, you might think it's a coyote, and it's a wolf. Another peculiar feature of these Asian wolves is that they very rarely howl, despite the fact that howling is known to be a vital form of communication in many other wolf species. Even though the Indian wolf doesn't seem to talk to its wolf pack, they are still extremely special, forming strong, unbreakable bonds with their pack. However, this surprising wolf is facing a threat to its population, with less than 3,000 wolves left in the wild thought that farmers and poachers are slaughtering these wolves to protect their livestock, leaving the species in danger. Will humans and wolves ever be able to live together in harmony? Only time will tell. The incredibly rare red wolf, known as the Florida black wolf or the Mississippi valley wolf, this endangered creature is not only the rarest candidate in the world, but also one of the rarest mammals. Once found across the southeast of the United States, they now roam only in the most southeastern parts of Texas and southwestern regions of Louisiana. These fast-moving wolves can reach speeds of about 48 kilometers per hour while hunting, always walking on tiptoe when they move. This magnificent red wolf was almost driven to extinction by poachers and the destruction of its natural habitat, and it's been listed by IUCN as a critically endangered species since 1996. Some sources even claim that the rare red wolf is in fact extinct in the wild and can only be found in captivity. We hope it's not the end of the line for this majestic creature. The battle is on to save the rare red wolf. <laughs> Werner Friends Wolf Pack this former German paratrooper is at one with the wolves. No, really. Werner Friend is famous for his up-close and personal relationship with a fierce wolf pack after raising these incredible creatures since they were pups. He became the alpha male of the pack, earning their trust and asserting his dominance. We don't know a lot of humans who would be brave enough to stand up to a wolf. He reared as many as 30 wolves by hand, learning all about the complex social structure that is the wolf pack. It takes a special kind of person to walk amongst the wolves, living alongside these incredibly diverse wolves who hail from Europe, Siberia, the Arctic Circle and Mongolia, Werner had such a close bond to the pack that they actually ate meat right out of his mouth. A word of warning to all the wolf fans out there, don't try that at home. <laughs> the Yellowstone Wolves When Yellowstone National Park first opened way back in 1872, gray wolves ran free in the woods. However, they were sadly viewed as an undesirable predator leaving hunters and even park administrators to kill these glorious creatures with no restrictions. Inevitably, the Yellowstone wolves soon died out in the area, but in their absence, other problems started to arise. Elk populations grew out of control with no wolves to thin out their numbers, and soon the park began to deteriorate, with much of its land eroding and plants being demolished thanks to the unchecked grazing of the elks. Aspen and cottonwood were suffering while the elk numbers rose, and soon wildlife officials realized something had to be done. 
The answer? Reintroduce wolves into the park. Yet turns out we really need wolves after all. In 1995, 14 wolves were captured from Jasper National Park in Canada and brought to Yellowstone. The elk problem was finally solved and the wild plants began to grow back. However, the delicate ecosystem was still out of balance. Coyotes, who had thrived without wolves, were now down by 50% and the foxes were running rampant without the coyotes to keep them under control. With lots of foxes roaming the park, suddenly animals like rabbits and young deer were in danger. Yet the Yellowstone wolves teach us a valuable lesson in what extinction can do to a whole entire ecosystem. Everything in nature has a place and a purpose. The African Golden Wolf This relatively new species of wolf was once believed to be a golden jackal, native to North Africa, West Africa, and East Africa. This canine is now known as the African Gold Wolf and has been living under the guise of a jackal for over a million years, yet biologists had no idea that this incredible wolf was right under their noses all along. These majestic beasts can be spotted as high up as 5,900 feet in the Atlas Mountains and have quite the reputation in North African folklore. It's believed that these wolves are an untrustworthy animal and sightings of them are considered bad omens. Their body parts have even been known to be used during rituals and turned into traditional medicines. Yet these newly discovered species may not have been acknowledged for a handful of years, but their legacy is ancient. Real-life dire wolves of Santa Fe It might not come as a surprise to anyone that author George R. R. Martin is a huge fan of wolves. The Game of Thrones writer has dedicated his free time and cash to the Wild Spirit Wolf Sanctuary in New Mexico, United States, and regularly visits the facility. The sanctuary is famous for its work with wolves and wolf hybrids that can't be released back into the wild and can't be rehomed into domestic households. And George and his family have even sponsored 10 of these magnificent creatures, naming each one of them after a character in A Song of Ice and Fire. Yep, these real-life dire wolves now have a celebrity dad. When Maisie Williams, who plays Aria in the TV adaptation, visited a local Santa Fe movie theater, she and Martin got to have their very own play date with the real-life dire wolves from the sanctuary. Now that is adorable. The Wolves of Ethiopia One of the world's rarest wolves and Africa's most endangered carnivores, the Ethiopian wolf can only be found in seven remote mountains at an altitude of 3,000 meters. They were first acknowledged by scientists all the way back in 1835 after a wolf skull was brought back to the British Museum. It was said that the animal's skin was never worn by the local people in the belief that a wearer would die if a wolf hair should ever enter an open wound. These long-legged, skinny wolves have a slender snout, and the naturalist Charles Darwin actually believed that the greyhound dog breed might have originally descended from this strange canine. The population of the Ethiopian wolf, also known as the simian jackal, was estimated at just 360 to 440 individuals back in 2011, putting this unusual species at high risk of disappearing forever. <laughs> Darwin's Fox They may be called foxes, but these canine creatures are 100% wolves. With a body length of just 21 inches and a tail length of 9 inches, these tiny wolves weigh just 2 kilograms. They were once classified as critically endangered, however these mini wolves have now been downgraded to endangered after their population showed signs of some growth. They're omnivores who feast on both meat and fruit and are named after Charles Darwin and belong to the genus Lycalopex, a distant relative of wolves. However, their biggest threat are actually domestic dogs, yet these might be the only species of wolf that can be overpowered by a dog. In fact, they will actually avoid forests where they know that humans walk their pets off the leash, yet being small and cute definitely has its downsides. The Great Plains Wolf, also known as the Buffalo Wolf or the Loafer, this ancient subspecies of gray wolf once wandered the Great Plains from northern Texas all the way to southern Manitoba in Canada. This large wolf comes in a variety of colors, both black and all white, and they were once a feared predator on the Great Plains of the United States. However, over the years, this majestic wolf has become almost extinct and was nearly eradicated in the 1930s. State by state, these once great wolves began to die out and by the 1960s, only a small group of Great Plains wolves existed along the border of Minnesota and Ontario. In the 70s, the buffalo wolf became a protected species, and this classification seemed to be effective in increasing their numbers. By 2007, they were removed from the endangered species list, and the population was estimated to be nearly 4,000 wolves in the United States. Who knows, maybe you'll see a Great Plains wolf in a state near you. <laughs> The Wolves of Labrador 
This subspecies of gray wolf is native to Labrador in northern Quebec in Canada. Its fur coat is dark gray to almost white and is closely related to the Newfoundland wolf. Unfortunately, this glorious wild creature was aggressively hunted in the early 1900s and sightings became more and more rare. Experts have found it incredibly difficult to spot the Labrador wolf in the wild due to the brutal terrain which they call home. These wolves can easily navigate the harshest landscapes due to their thick layer of fur that repels ice and snow, allowing them to keep their grip in a frigid natural habitat. If you spot a Labrador wolf, then you should count yourself seriously lucky. These awe-inspiring wolves have survived against all odds. It's why they're one of the most successful predators of all time. But which one was your favorite? You can let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. You can also hit subscribe for more awesome Missing Files content. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Mm -hmm.